So I figured I'd explain a little bit about uh, complete chaos you've been witnessing in the last uh, little video series. Basically, uh, the guy that I sold the red truck to called me up and said, uh, get here today, you can have this Jeep Cherokee, get it out of my yard. And uh, he said, there's a, there's a cat, the original cat's on there, and I know that's worth money, and this and that. It's got brand new tires, and it doesn't run, but come and get it today. It has to be today, and you can have it. Get it out of here. So, as you can see, he's, uh, he's one of those Ford guys that, you know, my Ford can do anything. Ford this, Ford that. Yeah, well, we saw what it could do. And uh, just sunk right down. Didn't have a chance. So that didn't get it out. Then he called his neighbor with a tractor, and you saw what he brought for a tractor. That's what we were dealing with. Didn't have any power, no juice. So ended up hooking the old winch to it and uh, pulled it all the way through and right towards the end. The batteries on the winch died. Um, not a set of jumper cables in sight. And he wouldn't take the battery out of his Ford and, uh, you know, put it on, hook it to my trailer real quick, get the Jeep up there. So, a bunch of shenanigans took place. Uh, he insisted on pulling it with his truck, and you could see what happened. It just went right into my fender, bent the fender, all the shit. So, all day to get that Jeep on there, and uh, needless to say, the tires were all junk. I don't, I don't know, they were brand new in like, you know, 1985 maybe they were brand new, but um, nothing good on this Jeep, and I never looked underneath it. Finally got home, took a peek under there, saws all right off, cat was gone sent him a message, what the hell, you know, the cat's gone, oh, I didn't know, same old story, so, anyway, you win some, you lose some, and, uh, you'll, uh, find it pretty, uh, humorous to see what I ended up getting for it, because, uh, scrap is just, it went up a little bit, last month and then it came right back down because of this virus stuff so there we are and here starts the storm we're supposed to get anywhere from 10 to 15 inches of snow now they're saying uh, we're into April here and uh, that's what you get so, picked up this uh, O2 Buick yesterday. Uh, doesn't run. Another one. That's why I can't start them up for you guys. Guy took the coil packs and all the wires out. Needed a bunch of parts. But... Paid forty dollars for it, and uh, from now on, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm looking under there, make sure they got the factory cats. Good news is that's worth two fifty, so <clears throat> can make a little bit of money. The body itself's gonna. I'll probably get my forty bucks back. So there you have it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the videos. And uh, by the way, in the video, you'll see the dogs are absolutely nuts. They're just humping everything, um, just going crazy. So that made it, you know, a lot better. And uh, the guy, the neighbor that came over in the tractor was completely hammered. I mean, it was so funny. The guy was cracking up making fun of Fords, and just, 
I mean, that was, uh, it made it a little better. It was a nightmare day, but, um, there you go.